the second bonus track that we got in F123 is France. This track has been directly carried over from last year's game and that's not a bad thing as it's one of the more unusual tracks in the game. It features a range of strange corners and unconventional braking zones. This challenges the driver to adapt their style to fit the track, but it also tests your car's balance, especially the rear stability under braking. Starting with the aero setup, I've set this to 18 for both the front and the rear. For a long time I was running a higher front wing, but I was constantly being challenged by the rear of the car with it stepping out of line when accelerating through the longer corners. For this reason I opted for an even setup and this really settles the car down through all the corners and provides you with a platform that you can push the car through each corner both on entry and exit. The on throttle diff has been set to 50% to help manage the rear of the car under acceleration a bit more. This lets you accelerate a bit harder out of some of the turns which is really important for the corners before long straights such as turn 6, 9 and 15. For the off throttle diff I've gone with 52% and this could be set a little low if you do struggle to turn the car into the slower corners but I found 52% was just right. I've set the camber to almost full right values both front and back but I've turned the front camber down to minus 2.6 and set the rear to minus 1. I've also increased the front toe to 0.02 to help a little bit to promote a little more responsiveness that went missing by reducing the front aero setup. And finally, I lowered the rear tire right down to 0.1 to eliminate as much drag as possible. Now, the suspension setup for Paul Ricard is a little strange. The front suspension is incredibly low for an F123 setup, and that's because of the curbs. This track is incredibly flat, which in theory would result in a stiffer front suspension setup. However, the curbs are all raised just enough to cause some instability throughout a race. For this reason, lowering the front suspension to 21 while keeping the rear pretty stiff at 12 just works really well. I've then softened the front ARB right down to just 1 while actually stiffening the rear to 8. This is also very unusual but works incredibly well to balance the car. Then for the ride height, I've gone with a pretty traditional approach of 35 and 38. For the brake setup, I've gone with 100% brake pressure much like all of our other car setups. Then I set the front brake bias a bit lower to 54%. There are many braking zones around Paul Ricard where you will be applying some steering lock, so a lower brake bias approach just works really well. Tire wear around Paul Ricard is heavily biased towards the left of the car. For this reason, I'd recommend setting the front left pressure to 23.1 and the front right to 23.2. Then set the rear left to 20.5 and the rear right to 20.6. And that finalises our French car setup F123. And it can be seen as quite an unusual setup for a pretty unusual track. I really enjoy racing around Paul Ricard as it simply provides quite an interesting layout with a few good overtaking opportunities and nice corner sequences. Let me know how you rate this track and how you rate this setup and are you missing this track on the F123 calendar? But for now guys, enjoy this setup and I'll see you on track.